More than 150 years ago, Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev created the most fundamental tool in chemistry, the periodic table of elements. Legend states that Mendeleev created the table in a single day. In reality, it was based on years of painstaking work to discover the ordering principle of the then-known naturally existing elements. Based on the relationships he observed, Mendeleev predicted the existence of elements not yet discovered, like scandium, gallium, and germanium, which were discovered about a decade later. Further elements, which, beyond bismuth, are all unstable and radioactive, were discovered by pioneering chemists like Mary Curry, and likewise placed in the periodic table. Today, we're continuing to discover new elements. But as these artificial, so-called super-heavy elements, are extremely short-lived, these discoveries are being made not by chemists, but through physics experiments conducted by scientists such as Seaborg, Fleuroff, and Oganessian, to name a few. They're being synthesized using large accelerator complexes such as the Super Heavy Element Factory in Dubna, Russia. It's in places like these where ion beams of lighter elements like calcium are shot by a cyclotron onto a target like plutonium. If these fuse together, they form the Super Heavy Element Fluorovium. Studying their chemical and physical properties helps advance our understanding of relativistic effects, which are based on Einstein's theory of relativity. This helps us understand what's not easily understood. For example, physical and chemical properties like the color of gold, the liquid standard state of mercury, or the 80% of voltage that's extracted from lead-acid batteries are related to those effects. This fundamental work probes the applicability of Mendeleev's law of periodicity to super-heavy elements and provides benchmark values for theoreticians who then advance models for describing these relativistic effects in detail, furthering our understanding of why things are the way they are. This is the work the Heavy Elements Group does at the Paul Scherer Institute, or PSI. Using the large research facilities of PSI, we design and construct setups and test these with radioactive isotopes of homologs under study. One such experiment is the gas phase chemical characterization using absorption thermochromatography. Two examples of super-heavy elements that have been chemically identified with this technique are copernicium and fluorovium. Experiments like these can only be conducted thanks to strong international collaboration between researchers, which is why many of the experiments, which are planned and designed at PSI, are conducted off-site, in labs like the Flerov Laboratory in Russia or other accelerator facilities. The continuous efforts at PSI, together with our international partners, make these experiments possible and allow us to continue advancing the science of chemical discovery begun more than 150 years ago.